Hi, Lisa. Hey, Nick. Hi, guys. Thanks for coming to my lab. Oh, we wouldn't miss it for the world. We just love experiments. <laughs> right, Babu? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Me too. Hey, Lisa. Are, are we making tea today? Hmm. No, Howie. We're using this kettle to make steam. Oh. What steam? Yeah. Well, Howie, let's think about your bathtub at home. When the tub is full of warm water, it makes the air around warm too. As the air rises, it takes some of the water with it. And this is called evaporation. Ooh, evaporation. See the steam coming out of the nozzle of this kettle? Hmm. Yeah. Well, that's warm air made up of tiny, tiny water droplets. And when I take the kettle to the mirror like this, Whoa, look at that. It's steaming up, just like at home. Whoa. When that happens, it's called condensation. Whoa, condensation. condensation. How does that happen, Lisa? Mm -hmm. Condensation is when all that water in the warm air touches something that's cooler, like your bathroom mirror, and turns back into water. This makes the mirror look all steamy. Oh, I get it. Um, how many are here now, Lisa? Hmm. What was that, Babu? How many are now, Lisa? He's asking if he could draw on the mirror. Please. <laughs> Be my guest. <laughs> <laughs> and when you draw on the mirror, all that you're doing is pushing the water droplets away. But Lisa, how come the pictures we draw on the mirror always go away after you open the bathroom door? Well, that's because as the mirror warms up, the water droplets go back up into the air again. They evaporate. Oh, mm. so warm air rises and takes some of the little tiny water droplets with it. Evaporation. <laughs> yeah, and when it lands on something, well, like a mirror, it cools down and turns back into water. <laughs> Condensation. <laughs> you got it, guys. <laughs> Thanks, Lisa. How about you? Do you see now why you can draw on the mirror at bath time? You do? Great! Well, now you know! <laughs> <laughs>